Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of notification squad. Peep squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the situation. Real Housewives of Atlanta. People seem to be coming at Candy because they're saying that she is not calling out Kenya Moore. And I don't know why anybody would think that Candy's going to call out Kenya Moore when they are friends there and allegedly an alliance if you ask Nene Leaks. So therefore, she ain't going to call out and say that she was wrong. She's just going to keep her mouth closed on the situation because that's her girl. Just like Shawnee O'Neal won't call out Evelyn Lozada on camera or whatever the case may be. But... Candy Barris ain't calling out nobody. And also, Candy Barris is being called out for being the bone carrier and also not actually speaking up against Kenya Moore. Like, she's going to. Like, come on, let's be real. And on top of that, people are shading the cookie lady, saying that she needs to go mind some business to get her business together. But Candy also dropped some tea let us know the cookie lady shop is right next to Cynthia Bailey and shop the Cynthia Bailey wine cellar. Then on top of that, she did co-sign Kenya Moore's story and say that Cynthia Bailey wanted to bring the cookie lady around before and bring that bring her around the ladies they talked about it they discussed it and she don't know if it's going to be on camera but cynthia bailey definitely wanted the cookie lady to be in a circle and candy co-signed the cookie lady and said that you know what she'll be a good addiction to real housewives of atlanta i mean they're throwing shade all the way around oh <laughs> lord have mercy so let's just get into the situation and let's just talk about it baby i was like mm 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 it's going down. It seems like Candy ain't backing down either at all. She ain't taking no chances. She's sticking with her team because, you know, she was on Big Brother, so she know what's good. So, a clip of Candy Burris, you know, her review on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Basically, she said she has no opinions and no thoughts on the cook lady coming through. But Candy Burris did say that it was shady with the cookie lady and... You know, Cynthia Bailey and Kenya Moore actually gushing all over the cookie lady cookies, baby, and eating them up. And even Eva Marcel gushing over the cookie lady cookies. And she's supposed to be Tanya Sam's girl, but she was over there gushing over the cookies, but she pregnant. And then on top of that, Candy said it was real shady. Cynthia and Kenya Moore leaving with the cookie lady, just leaving Tanya there like she's a stepchild, baby. So it is what it is. And so, you know, Portia Williams was like, oh, you got no opinion for real, sis? You got no opinion? Mm. And then Candy Barris responded like, I have no opinion. You know, I, don't get it messed up. Don't get it. Let me give you some clarity on the situation. You Don't read too much in the situation at all. Let me just tell you what's up. Let me tell you what's going on. I don't need to respond. I don't need to say this or that. But Candy did say in her review that you cannot bring shade and think the person's going to bring the same shade as you. So you can't tell a person how to respond to your shade that you threw out at them. And she's talking about Tanya, but Tanya got the shade thrown at her first when she's at that, she's out there in Toronto hosting and being a nice hostess. And then her relationship gets brought up, even though Kenya Moore wasn't going to divulge the information because she already knew Cynthia was going to divulge the information because Cynthia done already Tried to chill with the cookie lady, bring the ch cookie lady around again. So, therefore, it seems like Kenya Moore really didn't have to really talk about the cookie lady after that incident in Toronto. Because she already probably knew that Cynthia Bailey has been trying to bring this woman around the group. So, one way or another, Tanya is going to find out who the cookie lady is and who the cookie lady is associated with. So, it is what it is. I was just like, mm, mm, mm. So, you know... Portia, I told you guys that Portia Williams actually is going to be picking Tanya's side. And she's going to stick with her because her and Tanya are really good friends. And they chill together. They hang together. They call each other brothers. Brother, I mean, their husbands call each other brothers or their fiancés call each other brother. And Tanya and, you know, Portia call each other sisters. So, you know, Portia feels a certain type of way because she's going to bat for her friend, Tanya. Tanya's her girl. She's going to bat for her. She don't like the cookie lady. She think it was wrong that the cookie lady came through. She think it's wrong that, you know, Candy's not speaking up and saying that, calling out Kenya Moore. But, you know, Candy ain't going to call her out. That's her girl. <laughs> she ain't calling her out. Like, we, because if, if she was on the other feet, she would not want, you know, 
can your mortar call her out? Especially if they have a friendship, they have a bond. Are they going to be working close to close together with each other? And if you notice, Kenya Moore has been more open to Candy Burris about her relationship with Mark Daly than anybody else. And she even, she didn't cry on the show that she was about to cry on the show that she pushed, you know, Candy away. And she just started crying about, you know, Mark. <laughs> so we're going to see what's going to happen with this situation. But Portia is upset and she's out here saying what she needs to say about the situation. And she feels like it was a hard situation. It was a wrong situation that they set up Tanya Sam's because Tanya did not know Kenya was coming. She did not know the cookie lady was coming, but they came through. And basically, Tanya, she, she held it down as much as she could. But yeah. They were coming at Tanya Sams, and Tanya Sams was getting a baby. It was a setup all the way. Um, I don't know if Cynthia Bailey knew about the, the setup, but Cynthia Bailey was trying to bring the cookie lady around. So, therefore, you know, the um, Tanya Sams is down. Well, she was down with NeNe Leaks, but she's still a part of NeNe Leaks camp a little bit because NeNe brought her on the show. So, you know what? She's next to go, if you ask me, in my opinion, if they can get her to move because they show move Yovana right out the way. And right now, Candy Barris is not being happy with people calling her the bone carrier. And basically, people are calling Candy Barris out. They're calling Kenya Moore out, but they're calling out Candy the most. And Candy basically is like, I'm not the bone carrier. I'm just sharing information that was already on camera that's already came out. So how am I carrying the bone? I'm just basically, you know, going back and forth to different camps and talking to them because I can. Because I know how to maneuver around this. And it's already information that's already on the camera. So therefore, they're going to see it one way or another. I just speed up the process. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Candy is getting it, boy. I mean, they're coming at Candy like it ain't nobody business i mean the people are just speaking at candy like candy you wrong candy you shady candy won't you stand up to you know kenya moore candy this candy that but candy did stand up to kenya moore when it came to cynthia bailey's proposal party candy burris came out and basically she was upset with um with kenya moore almost ruining you know, Cynthia Bailey's proposal and everything else like that. So she did stand up. She did say something. She did, you know, it's not like she's scared of her or anything else like that. But, you know, people are calling her out, basically saying that she's scared of Kenya Moore and she ain't about that life. And, you know, people are just coming at Candy Barris. It is what it is because they feel like she's a bone carrier and they want her to do something that she don't want to do. She can do whatever the hell she wants to do. She, Why would she dog out her friend i talk bad about kenya moore when they're rolling together you know this they're, they're trying to stay you know compounded they're trying to stay together keep this keep this shit rolling keep it tight <laughs> and that's what it seems like the situation is and you know you know candy Barris would not want anybody to bring a woman around a woman that todd had allegedly talked to candy Barris would be upset she would be mad if one of these girls on the show brought another woman on that one camera time and say that oh I, I talked to your husband your husband was trying to get with me i got his number you know and you know we was having a conversation we was doing this and that she would not want that to happen because she would be upset she would be mad and she would be like like what's where's the sisterhood because they're supposed to have a little bit of a sisterhood where they're not going to let outsiders come in and basically say hey listen you I was with your husband because they got to protect each other because so many people do come out and and put out false allegations and rumors about the man that they are with too as well so they gotta protect each other but people are feeling like where's the sisterhood because you let this cookie lady come in and everybody's co-signing well candy's co-signing it cynthia bailey's co-signing it and kenya moore's co-signing the situation and it was like why there's there's not a blockage in the situation to stop the cookie lady because nobody will want you know some the situation that went down with tanya sams to happen to them at all point blank period so it is what it is people are upset baby they are mad at candy burris but candy burris ain't worried about a damn thing so i was just like mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and the cookie lady she came there basically and she was rude she was disrespectful too as well she tried to be nice and nonchalant about the situation everybody you know 
Kenya Moore saying that she looks beautiful, bragging about her cookies. You know, she's trying to get her spot on, spot on the show. And Candy did co-sign her spot. And Kenya Moore brought her through the door. So we might be looking at the cookie lady with a storyline, baby. Lord have mercy. And even myself just sitting there thinking about them cookies. She ain't even worried about Tanya like that. <laughs> they ain't even close like that. Mm, mm, mm. So Tanya says, basically, she got a taste of what Real Housewives of Atlanta is about. And it can go down at any moment. And your past and your relationship anybody you with can feel the heat so now you know she breezed by the first season you know she got into it a little bit with nene leaks and she called her out but now kenya moore is coming for her and now let's listen to what marlo Hampson has to say about kenya moore tell you about kenya and this is real talk i'm gonna pray for that girl i've been praying for she said just sad case Kenya has to get happy with herself first. She keeps looking for it. She's been the girl that has done a lot early on and was not successful. She was not successful at all in what she really wanted to do. And it kills her that she sits on the couch next to me. She travels next to me. She works with me. So that kills some people when they feel like, oh, I'm better than her. You know better, baby. It takes God to get your attention, baby. And he got her attention and now... She thinks she back up and you get her attention again. I'm going to always remain humble. That's the only, only thing I know to do is remain humble. So just as sure as he'll give it, he'll take it away. You better ask somebody. I thank God for where I'm at in life. Let me tell you about Kenya. Yeah. How about when her and Mark had that scene that he just was talking right over her? I just got to pray for her. I won't want no... Let me tell you something too, ladies. You want this man and this family so bad, the children. And then you get the children. Just say you have a little girl. And the little girl is living with you. And she sees and hears how this man treats you. What does that say about you? Children are not stupid, y'all. They know when y'all are happy. They know when you're... Uh, when you're truly happy and when you're not, stop doing it for the children. Because that's a bad look for you to have a child, a son, or a daughter. And you letting the man treat you any kind of way. Mm -hmm. Kenya is broken. I need to reach it. That might be her uh, hashtag.